one brain or two? Although the brain is often compared to the CPU in a computer, in reality, it is far superior and far more complex. Underneath a protective skull, the brain appears to be separated into two halves, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. But this is not quite true. Information and instructions pass from one side of the brain to the other through the corpus callosum, about 200 to 250 million nerve fibers. Surprisingly, each hemisphere is responsible for the opposite side of the body. For example, information received from our senses on one side of the body is communicated to the opposite hemisphere of the brain. Some scientists think that the two hemispheres control different abilities and behavior. The left side is more related to logic and analysis, while the right is usually considered more creative and imaginative. For artists, such as writers, sculptors and musicians, the right side of their brain is dominant. On the other hand, people that require organization and facts, like scientists and accountants, often have a preference for the left side. It seems that each hemisphere of the brain is useful for certain kinds of processes. For example, the left side of the brain may handle the syntax and vocabulary of language, but the right side controls the accent, speed, and intonation of speech. Neurologists have found that if one side of the brain is removed, the other side can take over some of its roles, such as speech, by creating connections or pathways between brain cells. Will we ever fully understand our own brains? Probably not. However much research we might do, the human brain is probably capable of much more than we will ever discover.